there are two types of people in the world. Those who live on the edge of the internet, those who create cloud content, and those who can't count. The three main pieces of news I caught falling from the cloud this week are Azure Edge Zones extends Azure services to the edge, although I thought it was already there. Windows Admin Center and Azure Security Center are now new best friends, and a bunch of new updates to the various Azure SDKs. You're watching Azure This Week, the show that finds the edge of the internet while you sleep. Would you like some 5G garnish with your cloud juice? Now in preview, this week Azure Edge Zones were launched. Azure Edge Zones extends your Azure infrastructure and delivers consistent Azure services and management to the edge with 5G, which is better than 4G, obviously. The new features with 5G announced with Edge Zones are development of distributed applications across cloud, on-premises and Edge using the same Azure portal APIs and security tools, local data processing for latency critical IoT workloads, acceleration of IoT, AI and real-time analytics, and new possibilities for developers working with high-density graphics and real-time operations in industries such as gaming. So there you go, 5G, all the Gs. Yes, I know. You have been lying sleepless every night for the past few months wondering, when can you use Azure Security Center instead of Windows Admin Center for your Windows servers? Well, now, right now, yeah. It's now possible to move your on-premises Windows servers from the Windows Admin Center directly to the Azure Security Center. Security Center then becomes your sole view of security information for all your Windows Admin Center resources, including on-premises servers, virtual machines, and additional PaaS workloads. And you can take advantage of alerts, recommendations, and all the other security features in Security Center. Oh, and you can show your manager the security score, which is important. If you are a cloud developer, you have likely used an SDK to develop your application and integrate with various cloud services. And no, SDK is not short for shiny Donkey Kong, but rather software development kit. It is the single most important development tool when developing some cloud goodness. The many Azure SDKs got updated in March. This also includes new libraries for services such as Event Hubs, Storage Blobs, .NET, uh, JavaScript, Python, for some reason Java. Mm. You can read more about it, what is new, and all the shiny bits in the link in the description. Cloud, cloud, cloud. I got nothing else. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team, when there is a chance the upload of this week's episode could deplete the data lounge on the farm Wi-Fi, seek and you shall drive up the hill to find a stable mobile signal so you can upload the episode before Joe sends the choppers. See you next week and keep staying calm, Cloud Gurus.